hello everyone welcome back again to my channel if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my video in this video I'll be making an Ankara satin bonnet and I'll be using this pattern paper which I cut out on my previous video on to create the satin bonnet and I'll be using this fabric piece of fabric which I've used before so I'll be using it to create satin bonnet and let's get started and if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my video and let's get to down to the work table fabric aside then my piece of fabric that is remaining you see that is remaining like this I'm going to fold it make sure it's equal then I'm going to fold it like so Then I will place my my pattern paper on. Make sure when you are folding it, make sure you fold it on the wrong side, inside the right side. So I'm going to place this like so. Then I'll pin it together. Then I'm going to cut from here this way. So I've cut it out. I'm going to keep the pin like so. this aside so like I said before I forget the length of this circle is 10 inches so as you can see here from here is 10 inches from here to here is 10 inches so now that I've gotten my circle so I'm going to open it up like so satin so I, I, what I did was just simply place the right side of my fabric to the right side of the fabric to, to the satin then I'm going to arrange it like so then take a pin because I don't want it to move when I'm cutting it so I just use a pin to secure it to the fabric so now that I've Secure the fabric. Next, I'm going to do. I'm going to cut round from this place to this place. Now that I've cut out the circle, you can see like so. So the next thing I'm going to do here is to pin this side up like so. I'm going to take a pin and pin all round. Now that I've pinned round. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take half an inch and stitch from there straight down like a circle. Then when I stitch from here to this place, I'm going to leave an opening of uh, let's say four inches of an opening. So I simply place the fabric on the machine like so. Like I said, I'm going to take half an inch to stitch. So I'm going to stitch from here like so. So I'm stitching. So as you can see, I've stitched round. And I left an opening here, so I'm just going to use that opening to turn out the fabric and the satin. So I've opened it upside down. So the next thing I'm going to do here, remember I left an opening here, so I'm still going to leave it open because I need to attach my elastic. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take one inch here. So I'm going to take one inch round like so to this place. So I'm going to take one inch. So I took the one inch, I'm going to stitch round. I 
can see I finished stitching the circle but remember I left an opening here which is this place I stitch round like so so what's the next I'm going to do here the next I'm going to do I'm going to take this the circumference of the of the head so the circumference of the head which I'll be using for this is 23 but I'm going to show you what I mean by the circumference of the head what I mean is this I'm just going to take this, the rant, go to the middle like this. So, that's what I mean. So, this, yes, yeah, sorry, it's 21, but she's not wearing it. I'm the one wearing it. So, my head is 23. So, I'm going to take out one inch, or if I want it to be more tighter, I'll take out two inches for my elastic. So I'll keep this aside. So this is my elastic here. I'm going to cut out it's out 23. I'm going to cut out 22 by length. So I'm gonna measure 22 by length for my elastic. Yes. So I've cut out 21.5 inch. So remember it's one inch allowance so you know, which I have here on my circle. So I'm going to put this together and cut it up from here to this place. As you can see, I've already have my elastic here. I think I did a lot of video on how to use um, attach elastic to your fabric. So you can have a look, but I'll quickly show you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to pin it here like so. And the other end as well, I'm going to attach the thing like so to the elastic here. Then I'm going to insert it inside the opening which I left. So remember the one inch which I left, so I'm going to insert inside like so. And I keep, keep on pushing it in. So I finished dragging it in. You can see it's inside now. So the opening, the elastic is out from the other side. So I'll stick it out. Then, if you like, you can stitch it or you just simply tie it. So, but in this one, I'm going to tie it together. So now, as you can see, I finished pulling it in. So this is the elastic. This is the elastic. I've I've tied it, but if you like, you can stitch it if you want to but i my own i decide to tie it and if you are tied it make sure you had you know my hair circumference was 20 23 and i took one inch away but if you want to tie it like this you are supposed to make it uh 23 inches because you need that uh, one inch to tie it but i didn't do mine like that so but this one is going to be very tight for me. But if you want to do yours, make sure you do three inches. If then you then if you want to tie, it. but if you want to stitch it, if your head circumference is twenty three, make it uh, twenty two. Then we'll add one inch for for stitching the elastic. So now that I finished, now I'm going to stick it in, like so. Stick it in nicely and seal it cover up the opening nicely like this then you, you stitch guys you can see i finished stitching this fabric that's a satin bonnet so you can either wear it like so if you want to so let me use it on my manicure head so 
from a manicure you can either wear it like this on my next video i'll be making a bigger size one just in case you want to wear a braid this is smaller size so if you want to make this bigger bonnet i would suggest you make make it instead of 10 inches 13 inches or probably 14 inches to be more big satin bonnet but this is just the average one so this one is 10 inches then if you want to wear it on the other side like uh, you want to show the Ankara simply take it off like this I flip it over and you have this at the Ankara showing on your head So that's it guys. It's as easy as A, B and C. So guys, if you like this tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe, give my video a thumbs up and I will see you on my next video. So for now, one peace, one love and bye for now. Bye for now.